Hello, my name's James Patterson and in this video tutorial I've got a very quick tip for you to add text along a path to give us this nice curved effect. So let's go ahead and open up our text path before JPEG into Photoshop. And the first thing we need to do is draw our path. We'll do this using the pen tool. So let's grab the pen tool over here in the tools panel. Let's click once to start our path. You can see this gives me my first anchor point. If I then click and hold and drag I can continue drawing my path and get these nice curved lines by moving these uh, control handles here. So let's continue the path around this way. And over here, you can see this point is not quite where I want it. So let's hold Command or Control and just move that point there slightly. Let's continue clicking and dragging around the corner here. Let's move this point in a little bit too. And just complete our path up here. I think that's probably enough of a line to work with. So the next thing to do is to grab the type tool over here in the tools panel. And you can see I've chosen Lithos Pro as my font. And I've got a size of about 35. And we've got a nice white color. Now, if I hover over my path here, and you can see my icon changes slightly. And this is telling me that uh, I can now click on this point to begin typing on this path. So let's click on the path there and then let's type my text. There we go, maybe we can just make the jungle part green. Let's choose a nice green for it like this. So it's okay to apply that. Now, if I just click on my move tool, this will apply that type and also allow me to just move the type around slightly. So I'm gonna click on the words there and just move them out slightly. Also, if I wanted to, I could readjust my path and the words would automatically snap to it. And you can do this using the direct selection tool to be found over here in the tools panel. And then if I just click on my path, this allows me to see all of my anchor points. So I can then click on a point and just drag it to move it slightly. So and you can see the words automatically snap to wherever I move. So if we move it out this way, you can see how that's working. Let's just undo that. Finally, if we wanted to tweak the position of our text along this line, we can use the path selection tool. And then if we click and drag this little icon here, the X icon on the line, we can move the text around. You can see we can flip it to the other side of the line as well if we wanted to. Let's keep it on the inside of the line and position it somewhere about there. I think looks good. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Let's just flick off our path here just to show you how the final effect works. That's it. Thanks a lot.